Hello all my Virgo people. This is a reading for September 21 moving forward for the week and good luck with the reading. I hope it all works out the way you want things to work out. Let's see what messages we got for the week ahead. So this is your past energy or what you're bringing through. Wow, this is stability, this is an offer, this is news, this is a relationship. Now, if it was a heart, it's sort of like the happy happy marriage, the happy situation. This is if we had a 6 sitting right here, a red 6 in particular, 246 perfect marriage, perfect combination. So, what you're bringing forward is commitment to somebody, love with somebody, structure, learning lessons from the past. You do have some sort of news or something that's sitting in the past, whether it's good or bad, I don't know because that person's looking that way. So there's, this is you feeling like you're on a good journey here. Okay, there is. All right, so we have the Eight of Clubs, which is sort of like going out and celebrating. Oh, sorry, Eight of Diamonds. That can be gifts. It might be someone's birthday coming up. There might be a birthday celebration that you're invited to. I don't think you want to go, Virgo. I think that... There's maybe a third person there that you don't want to see. So you may have an invitation here to go to someone's birthday. We do have a fire sign sitting here as well. Um, you have a forced change of circumstances going on as well. The seven of clubs can be all about uh, holding on to something from the past. Either you or somebody else is doing that. You feel like someone's holding on to something from the past. Now, the three of spades can be like the three of swords. It can be someone's broken hearted around you. Um, but I just feel like this would be like a party celebration. If these cards were all red, it's like you're going to a party, there's friends there, everything's great. Now, it can be work. This can be a lot of work, and then the money's there, but there's something that doesn't sit right with you, or this could be a third-party situation. This could be someone that's sort of trying to come into the mix. Um, something's happening here. So let's just see what your other information is. News, there's you or not necessarily you, um, no, sorry, that's a water sign, that's not a Virgo. Um, we have a water sign sitting there, we have water and fire. Um, this is usually the husband, the, the big brother, the father figure. Uh, he's got news coming through, or someone's got news about him and about irresponsibility. Now, if we look at him this way, in the past there was news and gossip um, someone young and frivolous and, and stupidity there. And there might have even been you, something that went on here. Um, and there was some sort of news that came through because this could be uh, gossip and chatter going on. Then this again is showing me the stability, the marriage, making a decision for the marriage or the partnership, the business partnership, uh, making the money, making the coins, um, and then being a responsible adult. So this is a nice energy down here, this row here. Like you, you go into the week quite happy and stable. This is where you're thinking, yep, I've learned my lesson from the past or that person's learned their lesson from the past, but bam, someone's trying to get into this groove that you've got going on here, Virgo. It's like, are you taking on a third person into your current relationship? Are they taking you on into their relationship? Um, I just feel like this is a no-go over here. Um, and this uh, six of spades is like six of swords. Someone I feel there's some sort of pain and hurt going on in here as well. I do have a female energy sitting right up there and the cup energy is joined here. Um, this may be a medical thing as well. If this was a sexual type thing going on in here, this is where it stopped. This is where this third type thing, this is where you're making decisions because this is irresponsible. See him, he's looking that way, away from irresponsibility. So that would tell me he gets some sort of news and he's he's not looking at this anymore. That, that would be a wrong choice. This would be the right choice, what's in here. So let's get some more information for Virgo. Okay, a lot of hard work for this happy, stable relationship type thing. And it can be work. This could be a new job opportunity and stability um, and $2 turning into $8. So it's a work in, in progress. It's very slow to grow as well. 
Um, for those of you out there, Virgos, about a pregnancy, this is a long, hard pregnancy and a little baby girl sitting here in the mix. Um, things will be celebrated and great. I just feel like you're doing it on your own mostly because this is showing someone not being there and, and maybe you've lost a partner or something like that and you're going this alone with a, a pregnancy. Um, there's a lot of hard work there, but you're also protecting yourself from outside chatter. I feel like this is a lot of people having their opinions about what you're doing. It might be one person in particular that's having some say about your choices, but this is the right choice, guys. This this is for your future, for your stability, learning lessons from the past in a good way. Um, and there's some sort of heartbreak there, either your heartbreak or somebody else's. I'm hoping this is not where you're going, um, that you're going to turn around and make a poor choice here because this is being irresponsible with your actions and you know what the story is. Okay, it could simply mean someone's up in their head over here that's around you. They're still up in their head. Okay, we have the mother. She's on her head. So I've just said someone might be hurt and up in their head. She's sitting right next to all of this. There's some sort of hurt that's gone on. It's still continuing on through this week. Um, this person's the mother figure. She's normally righteous and beautiful and she knows a lot, but she's up on her head. She's not feeling too great. And she's right on where all this information and chatter is coming through. Okay, so what else have we got for Virgo? Yeah, you've had enough of the chitty chatter. The opposite eights here, this is truth and lies. Who's telling the truth? Who's telling the lies? And where? where's the line in between? There's an old saying, there's his version and her version, and somewhere in the middle is the truth. That's what I'm seeing here. So if we look at these two as a couple, husband and wife, um, he said, she said, this is someone looking at you. There's someone looking at your internet, your social media, someone's looking at your phone they're observing you from a distance um, might be someone that trying to connect with you I feel you've already got a connection here I just feel there's some sort of hurt floating around if you or somebody else is let back in because this is sort of like someone that was in the picture um, and because it's black it's like they're out of the picture now if you want this stability thing that you're looking back this way um and you're wanting this restored, I wouldn't be going down this path over here. This is the third wheel and making a poor choice. So hopefully that helps, guys. Stick with the plan. Learn your lessons from the past. Mend whoever's got the bruised heart at the moment. If it's yours, mend your own bruised heart. Um, and if you're having a baby and it's a little girl, congratulations on all of that. And that's it for Virgo for September 21 moving forward. Welcome Libra. This is September the 21st and moving forward. Past sort of energy coming through, the energy of the week ahead, and then sort of like an outcome type energy thing here, and then a couple of tarots to top it off. So let's have a look at the past energies or what you've got so far. Someone was very irresponsible, Libra. Someone may have, you may have had an argument and a falling out with somebody here. We have someone that's everybody's friend, everyone. It could be something to do with overseas that I'm seeing here with this uh, club energy over here. Um, that's an earth sign as well. Uh, can be an earth sign, doesn't have to be. I feel this might be about a father figure as well and poor choices. And it can be that your father's not in the picture or the husband's not in the picture. There's someone that's, there's just arguments and stress going on here. It's it's almost like I feel like diving in and rescuing you, Libra, from this situation that you've got yourself in. Um, are you making a poor choice? There can be where you're just someone you're trying to contact and talk to. They're on their own little agenda. They're walking. They're looking that way. This is you over here with frustration and anger and going, talk to me. Like, what's going on? Um, it could be something about your own father, um, an older brother, uh, even your boss, this could be something to do with work as well. Now, it may be that you've made a decision and you're wor worried that it's irresponsible and this is like a job that's come to an end. So let's just see what else we've got there. It's like you want to move, but nothing's happening at the moment. 
Okay, we have an icy energy sitting right here in the middle. This could be you, Libra. You might be toughening up and saying, this is what I want, this is when I want it, because I want to make everything grow. So like I said, this might be a job coming to an end, but you're feeling like, oh, I'm being a bit irresponsible with this. I need to do something else about it. But I want to move, but I can't do it. Um, you feel like someone's not helping you, or but there may be something going on with the parents as well. This may be something to do with your parents, your grandparents, uh, an older brother. Um, and like I said, it could be work as well. Now you're getting news and it's surprising news. It's something to do from a boss, a female. This is something to do with medical, healing, money. Um, I feel this is a job opportunity, guys. I think this is a new opportunity. There's a new friend coming into the mix as well. I feel it's a female, but you do have a male energy sitting up here as well. Wow. Very, very passionate about what you want to do. You will move. You do have an energy coming through into your reading, Libra, of someone that crossed over. Um, they would have had something to do with May or the 5th or the 10th of a month. So they're trying to come through with those numbers. Um, they might be telling you that that's when your optimum time is going to be. I feel October is where things will turn around for you. But you have got a lot going on in your head. And this is where something needs to end for you to move forward. You're also trying to hold on to someone from the past. You're waiting for someone to speak up or reconnect with you. And I just feel like you're making changes for yourself to move forward. But there's some decision making going on here because this is sort of like it's all up in your head and you're really, really stressing yourself out about it. But it's something passionate and you know this is going to make you happy to move forward there's something you need to let go of or something you need to end it might be a job that you need to end the job but you're scared about hurting people or letting people down um, it might be a relationship I'm not really seeing two people in a relationship show I am seeing a friendship so it might be uh, friends or family that you're leaving behind you might want to move like move to a different state or move interstate or move Oh, interstate and into a different state. That's the same thing, isn't it? Um, you might be wanting to move overseas. So, or you might want to connect with someone overseas. But uh, I think we got this last time with Libra where it's black, it's red, it's black. It's sort of like you want it, you don't want it. You make plans, you don't make the plans. You cancel the plans, you start again. You're building on a new future. It's going to make you very, very happy. You need to cut loose from overthinking everything and start afresh. This is new. This is you being a new person. If your hair is long and black, you're going to cut it and make it short and blonde. Um, if you're losing hair on the top of your head, you're a male watching this, you're going to shave it all off and just look totally different. It's a new beginning for you, but you've got to turn around and grab it. You're looking that way. You're looking at the past. So is this one. Everything's looking at the past, looking at the past, holding on to the past. You can have something new. You've got to make that decision, get out of your head, make the decision move forward. It will make you happy. And for those of you with pregnancy questions or looking to see, am I having this baby? What is the baby? We've got a baby boy sitting here on the end, very, very trying pregnancy. This is like, oh, I just need this over. I've had enough of it. Juggling your money and your finances and your decisions. If, if this is about a job, you might have two or three decisions to make. You might get all three jobs and you're going to choose one. We have a double nine coming through. So this would be someone that's on the other side. Maybe they died in September. Maybe it's an anniversary coming up with them. If that's her energy right there, she would have been sharp as attack and she would have called a spade a spade. She's trying to come through. I feel it's a family member. Um, she wants you to go for it. This is your wishes coming true, guys. Nine of cups is nine of hearts to me. So that's wishes coming true. Again, it's all about emotions. You've got emotional ties to a job, to a place, to a house. Um, of course, to your family, you've got emotional ties. This is you going on your new journey, guys. It's happening whether you want it or not. Uh, you're going to make that decision. You're going to move forward. Um, I feel because the double numbers are five and nine, so maybe a September is where it starts and a period of five, five weeks, five months before you actually go on this journey. Anyway, Libra, that's a pretty positive kind of reading there. You do need something you need to get out of your head with. But yeah, you're going to make um, wise decisions here and it's going to make you a lot happier. And for those of you that have um, been in a relationship and everything, this is a fertility card and a pregnancy. So if you're not wanting to be pregnant, make sure you do something about it. But um 
if you are in love and wanting a pregnancy and that it's all sitting here this is fertility and pregnancy as well but it can be represent simply new beginnings for libra hello all my scorpio people this is your reading for september 21st moving forward for the week so it's just a brief little energy reading this is the energy coming through from your past and everything oh someone had surgery around you father figure husband uh, big brother someone who's very compassionate and um, he's in two minds about a situation he wants something done he doesn't want to do anything about it now this also could be a payout here this is like with little effort big payout coming uh, it's also in a relationship it's showing a relationship on the rocks guys with um, Scorpio it's showing like uh, one of you want to buy something, the other person doesn't. And he's just sort of sitting in the middle. His energy sitting in the middle. He is a good guy. Um, and he's sort of like, oh, I don't like this. This is not fighting or all out war. It's just showing there's a bit of an imbalance going on there. Um, but if someone is in line for surgery or they've just had surgery, this is where they're just feeling emotionally detached at the moment because of the surgery. Uh, it looks like there's payout coming, but he's just sort of not grabbing it. He's not looking at it. So let's see what else is there. Yeah, we got the hospital and the surgery here. There's some sort of surgery sequence coming out through this. It could be cesarean birth if we're talking about babies and pregnancy because there's sexual organs down here and the parenting. Um, it's almost like someone doing it on their own, someone who's got pregnant and they're just doing things on their own because the, the male or the female or whoever is just not coming to the party to help out. Um, we do have something where something's come to an end for you. If this is all dealing with business, because I don't have any love cards in this reading, um, this is like a little bit of work and it's going to court. There's some sort of payout. Um, the work is dropping down again. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing at the moment. We have new responsibilities that make you passionate. We have a third way situation here. There's someone in the mix, either you and your partner, there's a sister or a mother-in-law, someone interfering, or it can actually be some an outside influence trying to taint your situation. We do have someone on the other side, something to do with March and June because we've got double numbers here, the third, the sixth, the sixth again, or the um, 12th. So we do have something to do with those dates or those months. Um, I just feel like you've got a lot of hard work and there's a bit of stress going on for you Scorpio people at the moment. Decisions you're trying to make about money, which, which thing to do? Should I stay? Should I go? Should I buy this thing? Should I let it go? Is there something better coming? I feel like the first offer, let's say you're buying a new business. I feel like the first offer, it just doesn't sit right. There's something not right with it. The next offer is going to float your boat. This is something that makes you happy. But again, you're losing something in the process. You're losing a friend circle or you're losing a family member. There's something that you have to let go of. Uh, I do feel there might be some heartache and things going on. And as far as medical goes, I feel it's around a male in your life and it may be something to do with his heart or his... Um, the organs between the, the hip area and the rib cage area. There's something going on there with his health. Um, things will come good, but it's a, it's, a, it's a hard struggle there and there's a lot of stress going on as well. Um, I feel a family member might be pregnant around you as well. It might not actually be you, but there's, a, there's some sort of loss and anger and anguish in the past going into something new here. Um, I just feel like someone's got fertility problems going on here and it's still sort of continuing on. They're getting happy and then they're sad again. They're sort of like, I don't know. I don't know whether we should do this or not. Okay, you do have the strength to move forward. And as far as anyone having surgery or pregnancies and all of that, it, it, strength is getting bigger and bigger. Everything's, you got the 10 overload, overloading yourself with everything, overloading with stress and thoughts, patterns and overload with everything. This can be property as well. Tens can be property, but there's a, a big emotional attachment going on here. Yeah, we have the medical man sitting here. We've got a lot of male energy in the Scorpio reading. So there's something going on with the doctor, hospital, overload. 
uh, property sales, things not going the way you thought. I just feel there's a delay of three at the moment. So now is not the right time. If you're going to sell something, if you're going to do something major, now it's telling me now hold off at the moment. You have the strength to keep going, um, but hold off just for now, just for a period of three, because you've got these three sitting here showing delays. If there is a third person interfering in your health, your relationship, your work, it's time to give them the flick. This is sort of like it's stressing you out too much. It's time to give them the flick. And it can even be a family member that you've just had enough of everything and you need to walk away from them, have a, a bit of a, a break for a while. Maybe it's only for three weeks, three months, but it's where you're sort of like, can't do this anymore. I need a break. Um, you do have a fire sign energy in your reading, Scorpio, and you have a, a, a water sign in your reading as well. So that's it for Scorpio, September 21, moving forward. Hello, my lovely Sagittarian people. So this is a reading for September 21st, moving forward. We have past sort of energy, current energy in the week, and then sort of as we move out of the week where you're at. Um, also, it will just be sort of generalized messages. So here we go. Past energy is coming through. Nice. Okay. We have nice and not so nice. So let's look at the nice first. We have structured learning lessons from the past and moving forward for your health, for your love life, for your relationship. You may be changing a relationship. Um, you may be letting go of something from the past that's caused you pain, or you may be going into a relationship that's causing you more pain. Um, now, double fours, the reason I said not so nice, double fours can represent someone's meeting someone behind the scenes. Now, I'm not seeing any sexual cards as yet. I'm just seeing that someone's having conversations behind the scenes. Um, this can be the happy home and this will be outside of the home, something that's not right. So this is learning a lesson. This is doing things the right way, making choices of the heart for the right reasons. Then this is not learning a lesson. Um, and it also can be truth and lies. And it can be two females as well, sitting around one situation. We also have someone from over the other side who's coming into your reading, um, Sagittarian. A female energy is coming through. Uh, she's trying to tell you, learn the lessons, learn the lessons, baby steps, move forward. We've got triple four, so triple four means something to someone on the other, other side. It might have been their lucky number. Um, it could be representing April, the 4th of a month, the 8th of the month, or the 12th of a month. Uh, so they're trying to let you know that they're around you and they're supporting you. Have you been hitting the drink or popping pills? I just ask that because it just feels like you were very structured and happy and balanced and then something hit you like a ton of bricks then there's truth and structure and working, throwing yourself into work. This is very, very busy um, and trying to get this structure back, trying to turn the negative into a positive. Working very, very hard, guys. This is where you felt like you were just knocked off your feet and you wanted to shut all the doors and shut the world out. This is where you're branching back out again. Now, this could be just having a drink with friends, males and females. Um, very lighthearted, nice atmosphere, but... I'm just feeling like it's sitting in a stress, stressful thing. So you might be taking too much. You might be self-medicating or you might be drinking a little bit too much to drown your sorrows. Um, if this is something to do with someone that's seeing someone behind the scenes, this would be uh, social media, telephone calls, something that's going on through internet or something that's being found out. And just be wary. Someone's looking at you. Um, so if you've got something to hide, it's time to tell the truth and sort things out. I've got a lot of female energy here. And it can be baby girl as well, about daughters and things like that. Yeah, we have a pregnancy sequence over here. We have uh, baby girl, baby boy. We've got children in this reading here. Um, again, we have opposites going on. So we've got truth and lies, truth and lies. So... <laughs> Who's telling the truth? Who's telling the lies? We might have a medical situation here, something that you've been medicating. You've been trying to do it for yourself. You might need some intervention. There might be something else that needs to happen. I feel like you're standing your ground and holding on to someone or something, a situation. 
Um, we, in regards to work, this is where you're passionate, you're trying to build the bridges, you're trying to do something new. Are you a teacher or do you work in a school or something like that? Because this is all schooling I'm getting here. The fours are all about teaching and learning lessons, but it's actually sometimes can come through that someone's an actual teacher. Um, there's something new you want to do. Um, and it's almost like you start to build up, you feel good, and then you come crashing down and you shut the doors. Then you start to go out and branch out and you're really busy and you're talking to lots of people and you're communicating through the internet or on the phone um, and you're feeling structured and happy again. You feel like your wishes have come true and then something brings you down again. So it's almost like you're up and down Sagittarian. Do you want it? Don't you want it? Do you want to move house? Do you want to have a baby? Do you want to um, get that new job? It's sort of like make up your mind. <laughs> Which way do you want to go? You do have success cards there. You do have slow and steady wins the race as well. Um, you may need to be visiting a medical professional uh, for some reason. It may be about children and fertility, but then again, it might be something more to do with your own health. Um, try and not self-medicate if that's what you've been doing, especially if you're using alcohol or illicit drugs of some description. Um, and you could have concerns around children as well. There may be some sort of family gathering and someone's there that you'd prefer they're not there. It may be something to do with an ex or you go to a party or something and someone you're involved with is there with somebody else and things like that. I do feel this is a combination of where you're working and emotional and you're you're trying to find a balance, but I do feel you're learning lessons and you're going to turn this around. And don't be afraid to tell people things. This is where you're clamming up and not, not speaking up. But I do feel you've got a battle on your hands as well. Okay, we've got another five coming out. That's three fives. So someone on the other side, you've got three fours, three fives. So five, 10, 15, or May, April, four, eight, and 12. So they're trying to say, hello, we're around you. They want you to speak your truth. This is about following your truth. Um, but it's also about feeling like you're in the poor house. You're worried about in the poor house, but this is showing you're not in the poor house. It's upside down. You're feeling defeated. Now this can represent hospital. There may be a trip to the hospital. Now, the fours also, instead of being someone sneaking around behind the scenes and things like that, it can represent that something to do with nursing home or hospital is needed for someone in your family. You might be responsible for this person. Um, but that can be defeat, and it's sitting right on top of this self-medicating card that I said before. Going to take a chance on something new, guys. You're going to step off that cliff. Don't feel like you're a fool. If you need something different or you need to speak up, it's time to do it. Um, time to make a change. I feel your resistance change here. I feel you're holding on to things and you're stressing your own self out here. This is where you're holding on to it for grim death and it's all up in your head. Um, things are going to turn around. You may have a new person coming into play. This guy or this energy of this particular card, male or female, this person would be flash. Everybody likes this person being around them. This person's got the money, they've got the job, they've got the nows. They could work in medical um, or they could work in finance of some, some sort. Um, and it might just be that they're flash and they're fun, but they're slow. <laughs> Everything's slow and you're like, when? When's this all happening? I feel you might be going to a party. Uh, there's kids and that around. There's some sort of party and lots of people there. Just be careful of chitty chatter. Don't get involved. There could be someone saying, hey, did you hear about blah, blah, blah? Just go, no, I didn't hear about it and I don't really want to know about it. But there may be people looking at you and talking about you as well. And you need to sort that out and speak the truth. Don't be silent. Okay, anyway. That's Sagittarian. I hope that's health. It's only a brief reading. It's just for the 21st of September moving forward. So wherever you are right now, Sagittarian and every other star sign, if you're still watching, um, I hope that you're doing well. And until next time, I'll see you then.